lovely December 1st morning. Just got my bike lined up in there. Got the heater going. And let's see what the temperature is like on this beautiful first day of the Polar Bear Challenge. My dog barking somewhere. He probably wants to come outside. <coughs> Okay, let's see what temperature we have here. Looks like, what we call that, 12 degrees? Yeah, I think we'll call that a solid 12 degrees. Supposed to go up for a high of 20. Hi, Shizzy. <coughs> and we'll get the odometer reading, and then we'll be on our way. Oh, there's another dog out there he wants to play with. It's the guy that lives behind me. They're like best buds. <clears throat> okay, let me see if I can get it out of the light reflection here. There we go. Four three. Four oh. I'm gonna call that three point nine. It's about to turn over, but we'll call it four three. 403.9 And we're off As for a better day, nice dry pavement, sun is out. I think every hint of all the snowfalls we've had are pretty much gone. We missed three storms that dumped an inch or two on other places and all we ended up getting out of it was a light dusting. So we managed pretty well. First initial ride, I don't think I'm going to take it out on the highway. I think I'm going to stay on the side streets. And I got a subject to talk about since uh, around December of 2012, I stopped following NFL football. I just noticed this morning when I woke up and looked on the news, I guess the Rams did some kind of a demonstration as part of their game. Or they, uh, some of the Rams players, I should say, did a demonstration as uh, part of the deal with the hands up, don't shoot. So, kind of like the Mike Brown kind of deal. And uh, I'm not saying anything against anybody's uh, freedom to express themselves in any way they want. But, uh, not that subject itself, but uh, that kind of thing going on in the NFL with uh, agendas, political correctness. I don't care whether I agree with it. I don't care where I disagree with it. But uh, by the time I heard the Bob Costas gun control thing at, uh, in December of 2012, I just figured I'm done with these guys. I go to watch an NFL game not to be preached at. I don't want to be preached at even about something I do agree with. Don't care. Agree, disagree. I go to watch sporting game to get away from the world's worries and the world's concerns. I go watch a sporting game to be entertained and I tell you what, when they do stuff like that to me it just totally blows the whole entertainment thing. If I wanted to go and watch political rants and stuff like that I could watch shows like Inside Edition, 60 Minutes, stuff like that. But. I want entertainment to be as close to pure entertainment as possible. About the only thing to me that is okay is uh, play the national anthem, stand up, put your hand over your heart, whatever, sing along if you want to, and then boom, off to entertainment land. I don't want to be off to hearing your uh, political speech for the Republican Party or your political speech for the Democratic Party. Don't care, don't want to hear about it. done with it. 
In fact, I don't think there's any after the baseball strike back in, boy, I don't even know when it's been, but uh, after the baseball strike and all that, and then this deal with the NFL, I'm pretty much done with all major league sports. I don't really, uh, don't really want to support them, don't really want to be a fan of any of them, really. Don't want nothing to do with them. So I don't know. Anybody else feel the same way? Wow. Kids seem pretty cold out there waiting for the buses. Pretty good with these mitts on though, since I got these mitts. That's worked out pretty good. But yeah, anybody else agree, disagree, don't really care either way, they're fine about whatever. But for me, it frees me up more time on Sundays anyway, instead of sitting around watching at least a couple of football games that I used to, I can go out in the shop and get some useful stuff done or fix something around the house, so. Just as well for me anyway and what I want to accomplish. <laughs> They got their little Christmas nativity scene up there. They had a nice Halloween display. These people on the corner here are really elaborate Halloween display, but um, it had a lot of those inflatable things. And I only remember seeing two days where they actually bothered to inflate them. So I wanted to take a picture of it, but they just uh, never hardly got around to doing it, at least during the times I passed by. And I passed by there quite often. So I don't know what the deal with that is, but. Yeah, they put a lot of money and effort into it. I thought they would have kept the inflatables up a little bit longer. So anyway, I hope everybody uh, likes the new site that we created. Um, I see some new people have even joined that weren't in the Polar Bear Challenge before, at least joined up as members. Hope you take the opportunity to watch and participate. Hope you have a fun time and main thing, more than anything else, is ride safe. You can ride cold and ride safe both at the same time. No need to take any chances and uh, do crazy stuff. You can get, in the whole season of wintertime, you can get three good rides in, which is all you need to qualify. You can do your three rides, and you can do it um, like I'm doing right now. I mean, it's 12 degrees, but I got nice dry pavement, sun's out, no slick spots or anything. So I think I got my three minutes, and we'll take the... Uh, final odometer reading and we'll see what we have. Four three four oh six point zero four three four oh six point zero.